Time to produce a quick one. Oh my God, guys. I just saw that San Diego Comic-Con thing. And if you guys did too, you guys already know what I'm about to say here. But, uh... Just, uh, gonna push it a little bit so the first 30 seconds don't get flagged because I'm about to swear. Fuck. There we go. Um... <clears throat> Bro, bro, what the fuck? Literally, why is Robert Downey Jr. Dr. Doom? Somebody farted and altered the timeline again. Or maybe I haven't seen Deadpool 3 yet, but I have a feeling that might have been the fart that altered the timeline. Actually, the fart that altered the timeline was Spider-Man in No Way Home. If you guys saw that. Uh, if, if you're here about this, you probably have. <sighs> so not only does Robert Downey Jr. get to pay, play one of the most significant superheroes in Marvel comic history... Now he's doing quite arguably one of the best, uh, one of the best Marvel villains. Like, if I had to equate this to something, I would equate it to, uh, Mark Hamill playing the Batman. Which, if y'all know... Mark Hamill who who he is you know why that wouldn't you know why that wouldn't work but I could see this working imagine right the actuality behind uh, Dr. Doom being Robert Downey Jr. imagine that Dr. Doom is Tony Stark but a different timeline. I have a feeling he's going to be Victor Von Doom. But it's going to be hard as hell not to see him as Iron Man. You know what I mean? <sighs> I can only hope that this Fantastic Four pairs well with this universe. And does not do what the initial one did. I mean, I'm not going to lie, I was one of those people who liked the first Fantastic Four movie. Then, Rise of the Silver Surfer was, uh... Explain to me why Galactus is a giant dust cloud and not an actual Galactus. <clears throat> so... He is going to be there for two movies. And the fact that we got new Avengers details. What year is this? <laughs> uh, that's all, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. You know the ditty. Today was supposed to be my break day, but watch me pop out four videos or some shit like that because it's supposed to be my break day. Well, that heat wave has finally disappeared on us. And I'm not feeling horrified by being outside and doing my exercise. But you know what? Got any cool vehicle. But, uh, you know what? I decided to bring this guy in for a round two. So, welcome to the outside intro of episode two of, uh, posting a weird video every day until I become famous. Yeah!
was playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel and felt I needed to touch grass. Well, I'll tell you one thing. I had one of the funniest interactions today. I activated a card in response that stopped him from searching another card. Then, uh... He activates a card called Triple Tactics Talent. Which, when your opponent activates a monster effect, you can activate this card. Which allows you to either draw two cards, take control of one, your opponent's monster, or look in one card, look at your opponent's hand and shuffle one card into their deck. So this guy, I was already nagged one because of the searcher. So, looks at my hand and he instantly surrenders. World, does this happen near you too? Do you get random shopping carts in the middle of your roadways? It's weird outside right now. The dark spots are cold and pleasant. However, when you hit that sunlight, that sunlight hits you back. I have been debating running some video streams soon. Actually, screw it. I'll run a video stream either tomorrow or a day after. There's, I might throw Among Us on. Ooh, Among Us. Doom, doom, imposter. Let's go back to 2020. So there's no spoilers here, but I'm about to introduce you to a new anime called Shika Noko 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 Koshi Tan Tan. So. <laughs> this is a very uh, dramatic anime, as you can see. Oh my god, every time I see this, I'm all bust up laughing. Look how angelic they are. Look how beautiful they are, just coming a whisper away. This is how I want to, this is how I want to go, guys. This is how I want to go. Look how adorable though this is. This is so cute. Like, what drugs made this? Oh my god. Dear god. It's literally, dear god. Do you welcome. Oh. Well, rejected from heaven. Oops. So let's do some meme reviews right now. Let's start off with a couple deer memes. Well, yeah. <laughs> I found a nice D&D &D deer meme I thought you guys would like. What do you guys think about it? Let me know. Uh, you know, I do like D&D, &D, but I also like deer memes. I couldn't find any, like, not dark deer memes. So here's, a, here's one more before, like, yeah. What's wrong, honey? Just bored, dear. <laughs> Dad joke. You know, I'm a sucker for puns. Dad jokes I am weak for. I would love saying a couple of my dad jokes. Uh, hey, Kenjaku from Jujutsu Kaisen. Hey, Shikinoko from Shikinoko Noko Koshitantan. Yeah, yeah. I literally thought the exact same thing when I first saw that scene. I think that... that Shikinoko Noko Koshi Tantan has a lot to offer. Shikinoko Noko 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 Koshi. Yeah, this song is a bop. I highly recommend watching the anime. It's very funny. It caught me off guard with some things, as you saw that clip earlier. Uh, one more dear meme. I'm sorry, ma'am, but my pet ate my philosophy homework. What's your proof? My proof. Man, I feel like that. Like, comment, and subscribe, and season six. Ripping it out at the speed of sound, we're going head to head, it's a way to flex. Down, main crowd, we get back up again. That's Beyblade, Beyblade. <laughs>
Nomad, AKA. It's Christopher, my youngest brother. And what day is it today? It's my birthday today. I'm 23 years old and I'm about to. Spend some of his birthday money because he got some birthday money. I got, I'm also going to be doing a video on my channel. Yeah, I'll, I'll link his channel. It's his birthday. Yeah. Check out. So in honor of my youngest brother's birthday, I'm going to do brother-themed memes. Woo! Let's freaking go. Let's start with this gem. Yeah, it'd be like that, but with something else. The Devon's Lettuce, so to speak, right now. Me and my brother, we smoke sometimes. Me and my other brother, too, because I got two brothers. My other brother's name is David, fun fact. Oh, <laughs> this is a classic. When you're pissed with your siblings, then you're just hanging outside the room, and you're like, eh nan 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 boo boo I'm not even in your room. You can't tell me you get out of your room when I'm not even in your freaking room. Yeah, this is a classic one. I'm bringing my brother Christopher out because Christopher is extremely hyperactive. But you know what? I'm okay with that. Christopher is awesome and nothing wrong with Christopher. So, uh, <laughs> funny fact um, David, he used to hit me pretty hard with some steel poles and stuff growing up. We were pretty violent towards each other. Uh, that that going into this one, uh, we used to practice WWE moves on each other too because we just really liked watching WWE moves growing up. Sorry, we avoided the warnings. Oops, um, most ignored warning ever. <laughs> Air conditioning and hydration checkpoint. Make sure y'all be drinking your water and keeping cool in these very warm times some fun facts about my little brother he's got his own YouTube so like and subscribe to it check it out um, also he loves Grand Theft Auto a lot um, on top of him loving Grand Theft Auto he has a coke radar from the time he was young he could like sniff out coca-cola from like anywhere if it's hidden anywhere he will find it christopher is just that good at honing in on coke clarifying it's coca-cola youtube do not strike this my little brother does not do drugs so, in honor of my little brother's birthday, the one who is, like, an inch smaller than me tall-wise, he is literally almost exactly like me, except he don't have the long hair right now. He just got the longer beard. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. So, so I'm going to ask my little brother three questions, and he's going to answer... Hopefully as PG as possible So Christopher Did you expect Jack Black and Kyle Gass to get cancelled? I might have I don't know <laughs> Okay, next question uh, Gojo or Sukuna? Mm. Uh I think Gojo. Okay. Who is your favorite Jojo from Jojo? Joseph Joestar. Okay, sweet. Bonus question. What is your favorite stand? The world. You see this? You see this? You see these two? These are what you see when you fucking want something awesome. To come show up and have a great time. Okay? You see this? This is pure brotherly love. Incarnate. Okay? This is who we are. Ain't that right, Chris? Yes, we are, Duff. High fucking five, brother. Okay. So me and my little brother here have one message to you people who have not subscribed to me yet. If you... 
if those who don't subscribe, click on that channel, click the notification bell ASAP, or Trevor or Charlie will come knocking at your door with a rope and ball game. You see, sometimes you gotta, you gotta include the family in on it, cause family love. It's my brother's birthday today, and to show him some good stuff, I'm going to have him do some more videos with me in the future. Hope y'all have a great day. I love you. And like, comment, and subscribe again. I'm just like tired. So many life events, so many historical events. Here is my cute hamster, well, my sister's cute hamster, Noodle. She was just hanging out with me for a little bit, emotionally manipulating me. She really loves to cuddle and get smooches by me. This is a very affectionate hamster. She has a lot of love in her, and I appreciate her. Plus, look how cute that is. Look how cute her little digits are. Oh my freaking lord. I just spent like maybe 8 to 10 minutes being emotionally manipulated by a hamster for lovins. And I do not uh, like, uh, I do not mind that whatsoever. Wow. So, how are you guys doing today? I hope y'all are hydrating. I know I was bad a little earlier and I was quite dehydrated so I hydrated you guys know what it is here I am with another meme review I'm really liking these meme reviews and this posting weird video every day series it really makes me feel fresh you know here's a couple memes about dreams you know dream memes <laughs> I just hate it when that happens. You just have like an extremely profound dream, and all of a sudden, you just forget it. You just freaking forget it. I hate that about dreaming. When I dream, and all of a sudden, I just have a dream, and I'm like, damn, these have some answers that really translate well to real life. And I wish I could experience it IRL. But my brain's like, fuck you, Devin. Well, oh, here's another way that your brain says F you. Uh, when you wake up from a good dream and it was all fake, at least it's better than waking up from a bad dream and having something come true from it. Trust me, I know. One time I had a really bad dream about my dad six months ahead of his passing, and he passed. And it was a dream about learning about him passing, unironically. Sorry, get real here. Let's get to something funny. Um, when you're sitting at the loading screen for 15 minutes and it says press any button to continue. Now this one I am very frequently, uh, I'm very frequently guilty of because, you know, I smoke the Devon's lettuce and sometimes, you know, uh, you just get faded and you're just like, man, I wish this game would load. And it's already loaded, and you're like, oh. But yeah, Harambe. Harambe was supposed to be my baby. <laughs> well, if you guys heard that song, Suspect AI, Harambe. Um, but he was more than just a gorilla. He was a sparking beacon of hope. That was Harambe, fellas. Harambe was someone who we could love. I disagree with the primatologist. That wasn't the only way. Imagine being that guy at CrowdStrike.com who accidentally pressed submit on that uh, on that update that messed everything up. Ooh, that's the that's the sound of someone losing their job right there. Like millions of irreparable damages. No, billions. So many flights 
failed. Like, the amount of content I have right now is insane. I have done a good job, and y'all already know it. Well, here concludes another episode of posting a weird video every day until I become famous. I'm climbing, guys. I'm climbing. Like, comment, and subscribe, and share this with your friends. Oh my god, I might end up being monetized soon. I might be monetized soon, thanks to all you beautiful people. <laughs> Episode 4, but I'm exhausted and sleep deprived. <laughs> oh. Drink your water right now, please. Drink it. Love you, Mom! Love you, too! Have a good night! Oh, you move for words. Oh, you're exhausted. This might not be a very long video today, guys, but I'm fine with that. At least you still get a meme review. Not gonna lie, I've been watching the Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championship stream today, and it's been blowing my mind. <laughs> Y'all don't know how complicated Yu-Gi-Oh! is, but it's very complicated. And watching people do what they did today was insane. Knock, knock, who's there, motherfucker? It's me, the Devin Man! What's up? You know what it is, it's time for a meme review. This time it's Yu-Gi-Oh! edition, because Yu-Gi-Oh! day. Do not summon me or my son ever again! Well... That's a pretty good meme right there, that's pretty solid, 6 out of 10. Yeah, this is pretty solid too. Where's Jack like a cape? Ditches girl to play card games? Yeah. That sounds like a bunch of the Yu-Gi-Oh! players I know. Not gonna lie. <coughs> oh, you've heard of an elf on a shelf get ready for Seto in a ghetto? That is a tasteful meme. Mm mm mm. Nine out of ten meme right there, fellas. Nine out of ten meme right there. Nothing else to say about it. <laughs> Number fifteen. Getting your grandfather minted in a blockchain. Nobody likes your grandfather getting minted in a blockchain. Oh my god. Oh my god. Kaiba as Bell and Blue Eyes White Dragon. <laughs> That's very accurate to how Yu Gi Oh actually is. I'm still thinking about that guy that one time I was walking around. And this guy asked me for directions, and I gave him directions, and he just gave me a full dozen donuts for no reason. Like, a full dozen donuts. Only in Canada. Well, here ends today's episode. I love you all. Stay hydrated. Like, comment, and subscribe. And, you know, thank you all for being here. I shaved my face again. Mmm. -mm. Just made my mom a perfect fried egg sandwich over easy, a little bit runny in the middle because she wanted a little bit runny in the middle. Real people make their mother's fried egg sandwiches at almost quarter to 11 p.m. at night. That's love. Uh, so I might actually be getting some sleep too soon. I talked to my doctor today. And guess what? He's got the hookup on some sleep for your boy, Devin. Mmm! Yeah! Pretty soon I feel I will be ready to do a Yu-Gi-Oh! event. Be it a regionals. Be it, uh... Um... Be it a YCS. Mmm! -mm. I'm feeling it lately, guys. I am feeling it. Today was Pokemon Community Day. So, 
Here are some clips from my experience at Pokemon Community Day, including a Wooper getting a little too frisky. Here we go. Here we go. <clears throat> Oops. Overshot it a little bit. Come on, you cute little sperm cell. What the hell? Uh, yeah. Kaiba? Yeah. Yeah. Now let's see the stance on this thing. Hold on. Yeah. What are you doing? Whooper. Whooper. Now time for some Pokemon meme reviews. Woo! Yeah, let go. Let's start off with this absolute banger. Take my Pokemon, Nurse Joy. My Pikachu half faint. Can you please heal him up, please? My Pikachu needs health. Ditto. What is your purpose? You bone Pokemon. Oh my god. Yeah. We all know about leaving our ditto in the daycare, just catching a ditto just to leave it in the daycare for the rest of it. It's like, oh my god, I know where you are, and you can't ride your bike here. Now, that was a pretty good Liam Neeson for one, but let's just say Oak had Ash's mom on lock. Oh my god, speak about that. Canonically, you could breed a whale lord with a skitty. Yeah, that's what this meme is about. Now you guys know day ruin you know that a big ass whale could mount a poor little skitty i can't even begin to picture it bro now this is a classic you try to run away from a pokemon and it just runs away on you well guess what i wanted to run anyways guess what fuck you see you later uh... solidly on my way to 800 subscribers already <laughs> yeah <laughs> Got you gotta stick it to the peeps. What? Stick it to the peeps. When people are shitting and raining on your parade, stick it to the peeps. Stick it to the peeps. Do 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 do. Stick it to the peeps. Do 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 do. Hey people, why the hatred you keeps? Fuck the peeps. Stick it to the peeps, motherfucker. Stick it to the peeps. 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 Time to hit you with the Everest College guy. What are you doing with your life? Why aren't you subscribing to that Devin on YouTube? You know what I mean? Like, oh. Bro, you, why aren't you subscribing to him? You, you got a future. I can't. I can't. I can't do it without breaking character. I'm sorry, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. I can't yell at you guys. I love you too much. Stay hydrated, my babies. Devin's got you. I am the creamer. The creamer of the crop. And the creamer of the crop always aims for the top. Uh. Don't ask why I'm doing this, but we all have our motives. No one cared who the fuck I was until I put this mask on. Today is July 22nd. Happy freaking birthday, Mills Coolin. I'm glad you like my channel. Much love. You're a good guy. Some days I think about... Damn. Pokemon Go literally came out eight years ago. There are kids younger than Pokemon Go. 
I remember when Pokemon Go came out and we experienced peace for a little bit. Even after Harambe died. We experienced peace for a little bit. I'm sorry, I'm sounding a little emotional. It's just I really miss when times weren't so crazy. They were always crazy, though. Okay. Oh, justice. I remember fighting for justice. Sweet, sweet justice. But I always hated it. Speaking about masks, let's do some hero memes, yeah! Oh, oh, wow. That's a pretty deep one to hit right away. Spider-Man, why'd you have to do that? Yeah, I always wonder what happens to superheroes when there's like some world ending threat that they could help with, but they don't help with because it's not their movie. Oh, that is adorable. I love hamsters. I love all animals, but super hamster? Super hamster, that's adorable. You. <laughs> I got some friends like that. I love my friends, but like I don't do video calls often. I do video calls if you ask me in the head, maybe. But yeah, I'm not a video call person. That Homelander meme really speaks to me. Not gonna lie. Oh, yeah, this is what I see. Every time I hear, um, every time I hear him in Invincible, I'm like, I hear J. Jonah Jameson here. I want pictures of Spider-Man, but I want pictures of Invincible now. He is a menace to society, and he must be stopped. The last things you see in here before Pumpkinhead takes your life. Man, you know why I do 11 episodes? So, the 6 is always the halfway point. It's oddly an even number in a sense. It's odd because there's 11 and it's an odd number by definition. But the halfway point to 11 is 6. Yes. We've made it to the halfway point of season 6 already. 6? Six? 6 is the halfway point? Season 6? Six? 6 episodes? 6 seasons? 6 being the halfway point? Oh no. Am I a beast? I want you to like and comment and subscribe. Kisses. Stay hydrated. Adulthood is just living out your life with your best friends the way you want to without having to deal with the monotonous of the mo monotonous day to day of being forced to learn something every day and being forced to be around people. Well, some people are have to be around people. And you make a solid sacrifice every day. For the people having to be around people, I salute you. Real people of genius! Oh my god. We're doing this again. Back mm. for a third time! I love throwing this in. 
Boom, big, boom, boom, big, boom, showing love to everybody. Absolute positivity. Demonstrating love to others. So much love. I salute you, real people of genius. Real people of genius. Thank you for being you. Being yourself. You are all the best. Stay hydrated. Drink water. Go have a lot more scenery. Going back to garage content tomorrow. I know you guys miss garage content. I miss Melboy Effigy and Tiki Guy too. And Metal Guy. It is a lovely Tuesday evening, and I'm spending some time with my mother and stepfather watching the show Exploding Kittens. And this man, this man is like, that sounds like Lucifer. That sounds like the guy from Lucifer. I swear, this man's right on the fucking money sometimes. Sometimes. Can't give this man too much credit, because he'll just run with it He's one of those give an inch and run like 18 miles with a hellfire trailing behind him. It's me and the wolves in my head again. Guess what? We're going gambling. And guess what? We're hand hunting down Camel Crush menthols. The five gum of cigarettes. Just kidding. I don't smoke anymore. And I don't think you should smoke. Nobody should smoke cigarettes. It took a lot to quit. It was horrible. It was horrifying. Quitting cigarettes was one of the hardest things to ever quit. The only thing I haven't been able to quit is anime and guitar and Yu-Gi-Oh. Since we're on the topic of cats today, one time I witnessed Something absolutely marvelous at my one of my best friend Blade's place. I was visiting him and his girlfriend, and his girlfriend, his his girlfriend, launches bull accidentally, and the cat flipped it with the back feet. She launched it down towards the floor, and the cat caught it with his back feet and just kicked it up. It was so pro. And it landed perfectly, too. Like, one in a million. If you're watching this, yes, I mentioned you guys. I love you guys. Like, comment, and subscribe, fellas. We're having a great day today. And have a great night. We're having a great day tomorrow, too. Got to finish this with a cat meme review. You know how it goes. You know how I go here. I love you guys. Here we go. Here's a cat meme. Oh my. Well, I'm sorry my doctor has something to say to you, kitty. Unfortunately, Bob Barker was right. Spay and your pets, people. Practice cat responsibility. A week, but what cost? You know, I feel this on a day-to-day -day basis. Every time I wake up before 9 a.m. Oh, wow. Yeah, that is surprisingly very accurate. My cats very well jump up like this every morning. Like, they, like, see me just, like, even before I wake up, and they're like, Gavin, feed me! Oh, this one's classic. This one's classic. Honestly, if I ever had kittens, I would do this to them. Well, that's the end of today's video. You know the ditty. Like, comment, and subscribe, you know. And tomorrow we return back to the garage. I love you guys. Oh, I could get weird. Oh, I could get really weird. I could get super weird. I could get totally weird. Wanna hear how weird I could get? Tree, tell this motherfucker right here how weird I could get. We are back in the garage. Garage content in the garage. It's been like 
uh, a couple weeks, baby. Garage time. Now here's massage man. Here's massage man. A tiki guy, metal guy, and metal guy, effigy. Missed you, boy. I fucking missed you. Don't question my love for my inanimate objects, okay? Guys, I found the, one of the things I miss so much about not being here. Broken stick! I missed you, broken stick! My friend! Broken stick! <laughs> I missed you! This is the part where two videos today interweave with each other. Here I am drinking that same swirl from potentially earlier. Potentially later! Depends on when I release the review and when I release this episode of today's posting a weird video every day until I become famous! Season 6. Episode... Huh? It's also been a long time since I've done one of these with you guys. Oh my god. So yeah. This one goes out to all of you guys. I'm not doing another Real People of Genius segment. I did yesterday. Watch yesterday's episode for the Real People of Genius segment. Ugh. Let's see. People scared. I'm saying to complain about a shotgun wedding and a stain on my shirt. Don't believe everything that you breathe. You get a parking violation and a maggot on your sleeve. So shave your face with some mace in the dark. Putting on your food stamps and burning down a trailer park. Yeah. Cut it. So, oh, open the door, I'm a loser, baby, so why don't you kill me, double barrel buckshot, so, oh, open the door, I'm a loser, baby, so why don't you kill me, forces of evil in a bozo nightmare, ban all the music with the phony Chris Tysons, what? Here we go, guys. Three, two, one. Yes, the hair is tied back. No, I didn't get rid of my freaking hair. Huh. It's just hot as hell, guys. It's hot as hell out here. Ugh! Also, yeah, that was a bit steamy. Well, that was a really good one. That was a really freaking good one. Man, I cannot wait for summer to be over. I'm sorry to say this, I'm a winter guy. Yeah, I'm a winter guy. But what can I say? I like the cold air. The heat roasts me alive. I do like that I do get to ride the lawnmower, though. I do like that about the summer. Here's one of the best things about these videos, the anime reviews. Here we go! I'm not sure who took my rock star from the fridge, but I will find you and I will kill you. Yes, that is ironically a stolen meme from my funny. Haha. Uh, yeah, I feel that. I've honestly tried bang. You guys have seen the video, but like, I felt. Yeah. Uh, comment down below which one you were. Honestly, I was a whatever I could afford kind of guy. Yeah, I used to be emo, I guess. <laughs> I feel this spiritually. That is based and blue pilled or red pilled. I don't even care. We all miss that can inside. You know that. I know that. You know that. Now I am here to take the prop comedy crown away from Carrot Head. Carrot Top, I mean. So, here we start with some prop comedy. You know what's better than Saw 1? Saw 2! And you know what's better than Saw 2? 
You bet your ass it was Saw 3. It was definitely Saw 3. Here be Unc Dev. And Unc Dev has something to say to you. Unc Dev says, You better be drinking your frickin' water right now. Or Unc Dev gonna be unhappy, Unc Happy with you. Yes, I, I, I backed up for a second to throw that joke in there because I had almost an oversight. Unc Dev also says Epstein did not kill himself, I swear. And Unc Dev also says that McDonald's is the biggest example of a pyramid scheme of all time. It's run by aliens. Well, I hope you guys had a great night tonight. I know I did. I got to see the garage again. You know what? This ain't the end of the video yet. I'm going to do a nighttime outside outro. For you because I love you I love you all I'm gonna put this clip in slow-mo crisp outside footage. Mm. Gotta walk daily, you know? Gotta keep in shape, guys. Going to an actual freaking comedy show tonight. Gonna see some friends. I'm all dripped out. All dripped out. Yeah, Batman voice. Batman. Justice. Hi. I'm actually Jesse from the ch ch channel Cracked, and here we are. Yeah, guess what? Jesse, I'm in your house. I'm in your house, guy. I'm in your house, bro. I'm in your house. I'm in your house. But you know what else I'm doing in your house, bro? You know what else I'm doing in your house? I'm lifting weights with my pinkies, bro. Lifting weights with my pinkies. Yeah. Hey, yeah, Jesse, I'm in your house. I'm in your house. I told you I was schizophrenic, man, liar. The voice is projecting. What do you get when you cross two dudes with extreme hyperfixations and uh, time constrictions? Us being a little late. And we'll be a little late. We are now taking the chariot to the comedy. Yes, sir. Yeah. What up? You know what? It's good to perpetuate good vibes. I got a good friend right here. Good vibes. I just. What are you doing to me? Yeah, Bryce. His name is Bryce. He's pretty awesome. And I just met him. But you know what? He's got the same type of vibes I'm perpetuating. Great vibes. Mm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I love you guys. Stay freaking hydrated. <laughs> so here we are with another meme review because I gotta throw these in some of my videos to extend the time because you know, oh wow, yeah, this is a constant thing. Sometimes life really be trying in a sense, but you gotta rise above that, and you know, you'll be happy as long as you got your clarinet metaphorically. Yeah. Oh my God, that one's. Uh, 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 yeah, I hate, like, just going somewhere and you're dating someone and she turns out to steal your organs. Much like this one, going to a blood bank and all of a sudden you're dealing with vampirism. Vampires, uh, blood banks, people. Maybe there's a reason people are going to blood banks and it's not to donate. Oh my god, yes. Every time I hear Order 66, I think, 
Grab the lightsabers, eliminate the younglings. You know that's where this is going. Now here is Devin Lisa. How are you today? I didn't see you there. I was just practicing some death metal stuff. Um, hope you're doing good. Life is a box of chocolates. And I finally got eight hours of sleep tonight. I'm pretty happy with that. I cut my lip on a drink today. Like down the side of my down the side of my cheek. Wanna well, know how I got this scar? Wanna well, know how I got this scar? Because apparently whatever created this plane of existence hates the webbing of my mouth and Glasgow oh, like attempts to Glasgow smile me every time I try to enjoy myself life wanna know how I got these scars I got these scars fucking enjoying a Capri Sun somehow yeah those straws be sh sharp. Richard Simmons. It's okay, Melga, yeah, Piggy. Richard Simmons. He I remember. Me. Uh, I miss yeah. Richard. Why Richard, Richard Simmons? Richard. It's literally a day after his birthday, man. It's so sad. I'm a robot life. and I know how to process sadness now. I got you, boy. I know now. I know. One day, if I eventually become famous enough to become a Fortnite skin, I would definitely be having Broken Stick. I would have Broken Stick as my pickaxe and my guitar bag, or Metal Guy Effigy as my back bling. Imagine that, guys. This is actually successful enough to make me famous enough to make me a Fortnite skin. One day, I'll say I made it when I become a Fortnite skin. It will have me, it will have my outfit, my tie-dyed outfit that we all love so much. Metal Guy Effigy, or my guitar. And Broken Stick. Because Broken Stick is important. Bro, look at this panda. Look at this panda. This panda be smoking that Canadian outback with Zack attack in the back of a Cadillac, attempting to smack back a pack of, uh, I don't even know where to go with this one. I'm sorry I lost you guys. I have failed you. I have failed you. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. I didn't mean to make that joke crash. <laughs> I didn't mean to make that joke crash out like that. <laughs> okay. Now we are going into the wilderness once more. Wow, it's pretty nice outside. Oh, the temperature is dropping. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. 
<clears throat> mm. Yeah. That's a pretty good plant right there. Oh my god, guys. Broken sticks cousin. You know. I'm definitely a man who loves trees. I love so many trees. You know what I love more than this expensive guitar on my back? More than that Lamborghini in that guy's garage? Trees, man. I love trees. I may or may not be in an open relationship with this one. Just kidding. But damn. This is a mighty fine tree. That's not me. That's my recycling making that noise. But also nature. Listen to all those birds. Someone's mad at someone. I like to imagine that bird's yelling at another bird over a custody battle. Now that time, that was me. I'm excited to see Deadpool 3 with my best friend really soon. It's going to be great. I'm excited. <laughs> We're tenacious, D. Here is my top shelf. Here's some Naruto stuff. And, you know, some degenerate anime stuff. There's the Hello Kitty Yu-Gi-Oh! collection. There's a specific episode of Rick and Morty. Here's everything in the dark. Madara and those pics glow in the dark. Everything else doesn't really glow in the dark. Well, well here's some with the lamp. I plan on turning those into a mural for him at one point. Don't ask. Those are from the old days. However, this though, if you had this, you were the coolest kid ever back then. Some days as an adult, you can't think like the feeling of a great couch that hugs every contour of your body after a long, long, long day. Like, comment, and subscribe. If you think these pink glasses are awesome, these ones are popular with the single moms at Costco. Oh yeah, baby. Cake time. No one tells you this when you become an adult. That's all I have to say. Have you ever loved someone so much you give your feet for? Not the expression. No, literally give your feet for. Flaming Hot Cheetos, man. <laughs> yeah.
It ain't easy being cheesy. So here I am drawing today's thumbnail, which is Buff Karibo. Which I drew freehand, no guide or anything, from my brain, translating it onto a screen. I mess up a couple times and you see that. And uh, I make it evident. This is all seven minutes sped up eight times. So, yeah. I'm really bad at keeping my hand in the shot there. But, you know, it's all worth it for Buff Karibo, which I think is a pretty kick ass thumbnail, not gonna lie. If you like Buff Karibo, let me know in the comments below. Here we now comically shove 11 fingers down Yuji Itadori's throat. I just animated this as a tester animation. Let me know what you guys think about it. It's pretty funny. A lot of effort. No meme review today. Just start. Like, comment, and subscribe. Love you guys. Stay hydrated. Here we have it. A very, very good kitty. His name is Andy. And he gets the pets. He gets the pets. He goes behind his ears. This is a sign that if you want to experience self-love, love a kitty today. So... Hmm. Any fool could get famous. <clears throat> Literally, any fool could get famous. Every time someone says... If you could get famous, any fool could get famous. Any fool can get famous. For the right reasons, for the right things. Hell. That is how comedy works, fellas. Someone makes you laugh. Hmm? Someone makes you laugh. Someone makes you chuckle a bit. Someone makes a lot of people chuckle. Makes a lot of people happy. Especially in this... Uh, dark little slice of life we are all going through. Hmm. Why don't you just laugh? Why don't you lower your preconceptions of what you're about to enjoy and actually enjoy it? Giving you kisses. I love you. Even if you don't like me. Only because I at least want some sort of positivity in our relationship. It's been a while since I've Broken out this shirt, get it? Because it's breaking Benjamin. <laughs> yeah. This is uh, one of my favorite shirts. You know? We all got a famous shirt. Favorite shirt, okay? Oops, I said famous. That is what happens when you have dyslexia, okay? Sometimes. You say a word you're not intentionally meaning to say, okay? It's bad, it's bad. And, uh, usually I cut that out, but you know what? Let it fly this time. For the people trying to guess my preferences, for some reason, you freaking weirdos. I like my women over 30 with a large booty. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Real men of culture know why. Real men of culture know why. Metal Boy Effigy. It has been a great season 10, hasn't it? 
Your dyslexia hit you again. We're season 6, David, not season 10. It has been a good season 6, though. We did get a lot of views. We upped your subscriber count to a bit. You know? We did a good job. Yeah, we gained some subs. I wouldn't say a lot. In two days, it will be season 7. You need to get your rest, my dear friend. Yeah, but we made it to season 7. This is more drive than most people have. And you get to rest tomorrow. Yeah? Yeah, we do get a break tomorrow. <laughs> yes, this is the season 6 finale. Holy moly, we have made it to s s 7 seasons? We got the 7th season. Coming in 2 days. Tomorrow comes that big old compilation we all love that I throw. Because you gotta have that big compilation. It helps just wrap everything up. I'm now going to create tomorrow a separate pr playlist where you could watch the entire thing, the entire compilation, and one playlist. It's gonna be just the compilation videos, the entire season, full season videos. Y'all are gonna love it. It's gonna be easier to consume my content. You can even let it go while you're sl sleeping. You can listen to my, my sweet voice lull you to sleep as you guys choose my videos to help aid you in your sleep. It will be a great time. It would be the joy of sleeping with Devin's voice. Guys, I got the budget Barbie. Look at its dress, it's pretty. It got the hair. It got the arms. Either this, or I found a little wooden Jesus. Jesus or Barbie? Comment below. Jesus or Barbie? So... To send off this season six, we could do one more of these with you guys this season. It has been a wonderful season, and I will tell you, this is two seasons in a row that I have not somehow missed a video in succession. So what could I say, guys? What could I say? I did not mess up the video order this time. Let's let's rip it to celebrate it. So in three, two, one, let's go. Ah. That was, some, that was pretty good. So, I'm going to say some very fun facts about me. Three facts about me. Other than that fact I gave you guys earlier. By the way, if you're over 30, hit me up. <laughs> One, I'm skilled at video games for no good reason at all. I'm not even that, like, into gaming. I prefer to play guitar. Or Yu-Gi-Oh! But for some reason, I'm really good at gaming. I, I, I'll 1v1 anyone in Tekken or Soul Calibur. Seriously, I challenge anyone. Secondly, there was one time I made my dad really proud with Yu-Gi-Oh. And my dad bullied me for Yu-Gi-Oh most of my life. and. I didn't care. The one time he was like really good with me playing Yu-Gi-Oh! I made a 40 year old man cry when I was 10 years old because I kicked his ass. I handed his ass to him with a deck that shouldn't have beaten him, but I still won. Secondly, I have either terrible luck or good luck. 
one time I uh, was pulling some Yu-Gi-Oh cards from a set called The Secret Forces. And there was a card out of that set called Necroz of Brionic. And it was $153 at the time. Or $57. And I pulled two of it in one box. And the store owner was like, if you do it, if, if you don't get one in this next box, I got one under the counter. I will sell you at a discount. And I'm like, I'll let you know. Third pack into this box. Boom. Pulled the third one. Man, like a bandit. I had just traded some cards I had paid an absurd amount of money for. And it paid off finally. <clears throat> oh. Also... One time I bought a bunch of cards for five and seven dollars and they shot up for to thirty nine and forty two dollars. No like forty four. It was perfect. I unloaded them. It was beautiful. Ugh. Have a great night, people. Here's animated me with a last meme review for this season. I leave the animation out of one video and they complain I don't have an animation. Here's my animated re meme review with the rock memes. I will only play Dwayne the Rock Paper Scissors from now on. If you're my friend, you are now warned now. You're dealing with it. Love yourself. Dwayne the Self-Love Johnson. You know, sometimes you gotta give yourself some self-love in these tough times. You gotta really amp yourself up. Dwayne the Sock Johnson. At least saying Dwayne the Johnson Sock. You know what I mean, fellas? Otherwise, that would be a totally different meme. <laughs> yeah, I went there. Yeah. Wow. Imagine that. Imagine if Dwayne the Rock Johnson wasn't ripped. Well, there you go. Someone had Photoshop and did it. Dwayne the Walk Johnson. Honestly, the best one to prepare beef broccoli in. I would definitely prepare beef broccoli and Dwayne the Walk Johnson, wouldn't you? Now like and subscribe. And you can't knock my drive, man. I was doing this video editing sort of stuff last night while I was hanging out with people and enjoying my night as well. Enjoy your night tonight. Love you all.